Welcome back to the lecture series on heat transfer operation. This is Yogesh Lange. In today's lecture, we see a numerical based on the composite cylinder. Let's see the statement of this numerical. It is on the heat loss through the insulated pipe. Heat loss through an insulated pipe. So this is the statement. It is steam at T1 320 degrees Celsius flows in a cast iron pipe whose conductivity is 80 watt per meter per degree Celsius whose inner and outer diameter are 5 cm and 5.5 cm respectively. The pipe is covered with a 3 cm thick glass pool insulation with a conductivity 0 0.05 watt per meter per degree Celsius. Heat loss to the surrounding at T2 5 degree Celsius by natural convection and the radiation with a combined heat transfer coefficient of H2 18 watt per meter square per degree Celsius. Taking the heat transfer coefficient inside the pipe to be H1 is 60 watt per meter square per degree Celsius. Determine the rate of heat loss from the steam per unit length of the pipe. Also determine the temperature drop across the pipe shell and the insulation. Okay. So this is the statement. Obviously, this uh, there is a statement in that one. It is mentioned the steam temperature 320 degrees Celsius. The conductivity of the pipe that is the cast iron is used here. It having the conductivity 80, 80 watt per meter um, watt per meter per degree Celsius. The diameter inner and outer of pipe is mentioned 5 centimeter and 5.5 centimeter. Then it having the pipe is covered with a thick glass wool insulation material which the thickness is 3 cm and the conductivity of the glass wool insulation is 0 0.05. The heat loss to the surrounding so the surrounding temperature is mentioned 5 degrees Celsius steam temperature which is flowing through the pipe it is 320 degrees Celsius and the natural convection and radiation is occurred and the combined heat transfer coefficient is mentioned it is 18 watt meter square degree Celsius and the inner heat transfer coefficient is given H1 is 60. So outer is 18, inner is 60 and here we have to find what will be the heat loss from the steam per unit length of the pipe. The first question, the first bit is to find what is the heat loss through the pipe and the second they are asked what is the temperature drop that is the what is the delta T value at the pipe shell means the at the pipe and at the insulation. Okay. So let's see one by one how to solve this numerical. First draw the schematic diagram of it and from that one we try to find what are the resistances, how many resistances are there because to calculate the value of Q for a composite cylinder we should know how many resistances are there. So let's first draw a diagram. So this is the inner diameter of the pipe. Then this is the outer diameter of the pipe. And this is the insulating material wrap on the pipe. So this is the thickness of the pipe and this is the thickness of the insulating material. So let's consider the R1 is the inner radius of the pipe. R2 is the outer radius of the pipe and R3 is the outer radius of insulating material. Consider the T1 is the temperature, inner temperature and T2 is the outer temperature. H1 is the heat transfer coefficient inside and H2 is the heat transfer coefficient outside on the surrounding. Consider the K2 is the conductivity of the insulating material that is the glass wool 
and small k1 is the conductivity of the pipe. So this is the pipe, the conductivity of the iron pipe. Both the values are mentioned in the numerical. Now these are the surface temperatures because this is again helpful to know what is the pressure uh, temperature drop. Okay, so Tw1 is the uh, consider the temperature at the uh, inner side, Tw2 is the outer side and Tw3 at the outer side of the insulating material. Now from this diagram we can see there are the four resistances. How? Look, the first resistance by the this wall of the pipe. Second resistance by the insulating material. Then third resistance is by the convection at the inner side. And the fourth resistance at the outer side. Because the value of H1, the transfer coefficient inside and outside is mentioned. So here the first resistance itself in the inner side by the convection. Second resistance by the conduction and again it is by the material. And the third one it is by the insulating material. Okay and the fourth is at the surrounding one. So we can say that the first resistance R convection here, then R conduction uh, in the pipe, R conduction in the insulating material and the one resistance R convection surrounding. So the total four resistances are here in this, in this problem. Now, before solving this one, let's assume this data, write down the data and on that basis, if there is any conversion of the unit, we can convert the units and then we solve the numerical. So, first the assumptions. So, as, as per the given data, as per the given statement, it is state that heat transfer is steady state. So, we consider the value of Q is constant. Heat transfer is one dimensional as they are not mentioned the two or third dimensional. So we consider it is a one-dimensional and the thermal conductivity is R constant. The well, K1 and K2 are constant throughout the system. So data is mentioned, the thermal conductivity of the pipe is given, K1, K2 is the insulating material uh, conductivity, T1 is the inside temperature of the steam, T2 is the outside temperature of the steam, that is 5 and this is 320. The heat transfer coefficient inside the pipe, H1, it is 60. Heat transfer coefficient surrounding H2, it is 18 Watt per meter square degree Celsius and the two diameters, inner diameter of the pipe, D1 is 5 centimeter and outer diameter of the pipe is 5.5 centimeter. So this is the data is given in our numerical. So this data. Now what we have, to, what would be like, what we find, we find what is the value of Q. We would like to find what is the value of Q because that is a mention and another is the what is the temperature drop across the pipe and the temperature drop across the insulation okay so first after writing this data we write a formula to finding the heat loss that is the value of what is the q so this is the formula the temperature drop the T1 inside temperature, T2 is the outside temperature upon the R total, the resistance, total resistance. So how many resistances are here? Here there are the four resistances. Two resistances by the convection one and two resistances by the conduction one. So we, the, the general equation for this case is, is Q is equals to the T1 minus T2 upon R convection, R conduction, R conduction and R convection. In this case, only the one conversion of the unit, it is what? The value of D1 and D2 is mentioned, inner diameter of the pipe and outer diameter of the pipe. But when we are writing the equation, that equations are given in terms of the radius. So we are converting the diameter into the radius first. And then as it is mentioned in centimeter, so we can consider the identical unit and that, that, would be, that will be converted into the meter. So we convert the, the value of D1 then R1 into the meter, so R1 value is 0 0.025, after the conversion R2 is 0 0.0275 meter and the another uh, the radius we require that is the R3 and this R3 is not given in the numerical. Okay, so how to find the R3? R3 is what? It is the outer radius of the insulating material. So it is the outer radius of the pipe 
plus what is the thickness of the insulation. So we take the outer radius of the pipe plus the thickness of the insulation and from that one we got the value R3 is 0.575 meter. Now we try to first find the what is the R convection. Then we try to get the value of R conduction, R conduction of by the insulation and R convection. So we write the formula for it. So this is the formula for the R convection one. What is this R convection one? It is the resistance by the convection at the inside one, inner side of the pipe. So it is the formula is 1 upon H1 heat transfer coefficient inside 2 pi constant R1 inner radius of the pipe and the L is the length. And here we are assuming the length is 1 meter because the in the numerical dimension what is the heat loss per unit length. So we consider the length here 1 meter. Okay, this is our assumption as the value of L is not mentioned. Similarly, I write the equation for R convection 2. This is the, uh, the resistance at the surrounding one. And the formula is 1 upon H2 outside heat transfer coefficient. 2 pi is the constant R3. R3 is what? The radius of insulating material. And L is the, again it is 1. So we write the equation convection, convection 2 this one and this one now we write the another equation that is for the r conduction means this one r1 and the formula is as the heat uh, the resistance by the conduction that's why i am writing the equation as ln of r2 by r1 upon 2 pi k1 l where r2 is the outer radius of the pipe r1 is the inner radius of the pipe k1 is the conductivity of the pipe iron pipe and l is the length Similarly, I am writing the second resistance by the conduction. It is through the insulating material and it is ln of R3 by R2 where R3 is what? Again, the, thick, uh, the radius of the insulation. R2 is the inner radius of the insulation or we can say outer radius of the pipe. It is the one and the same. Upon 2 pi, Instead of the K1, now I am writing K2 because here I am writing the conductivity of the insulating material. K2 is the conductivity of the insulating material and L is the again 1. So I am writing all these equations. Now I am putting the values which is given in the numerical and the values are after putting this one, we got the values because already I said in the uh, data we write the what is the value of H1, H2. Already we, here we find out the value of R1, R2 and R3. Okay. The L is assuming 1. And from that case, we just put it the values in the given in the given data. And the value of R convection after the, uh, the putting the values, we got it is 0.106 degrees Celsius per fat. For R convection 2, we got the value is 0.154. The R conduction 1 at this case it is 0 0.002 and for the R conduction 2 that is from the insulating we got the value is 2.35 degrees Celsius per watt. So these are the answer. Now what we do? We put all this value here. The value of R convection, value of R convection 2, R conduction and the value of R conduction 2 and the temperatures. Okay. So we write the equation again that is Q is equal to T1 minus T2 R convection R1 plus R2 plus R convection 2 and we put the values this is T1 is the temperature 320 T2 5 upon the resistance R convection resistance R conduction of pipe resistance of insulating material and resistance at the surrounding and after the calculation we got the value it is 121 watt. So how much heat loss? The heat loss through the pipe per meter is 121. Now the first bit is over. Now the second part of the numerical. So this is the first part. We find how much heat loss. The heat loss is 121 watt per meter. Per meter is what? It is a per meter length. Now to calculate what is the temperature drop across the pipe and the insulating insulation. Now across the pipe means what is the temperature at the inner surface to the outer surface. Okay. 
what is the difference inner side how what is the temperature and outer side what is the temperature what is the temperature difference between these two that we can find with the help of the formula and the formula is to find out the delta t we have the q q already we calculate because we know the value of q is 121 and the r r1 is what it is the resistance by the conduction one now once i put the value of q it is 121 here and the value of r1 0 0.002 i got the delta t is 0 0.02 only a negligible temperature difference across the pipe because there is a the highest conductivity through the pipe okay inside and outside only the this is the temperature drop okay if i consider the certain thickness and for the insulating one again we have the formula same delta t insulation we can write q 121 because we consider the steady state condition and the value of r2 is what r2 is this one so it is by multiplication by 2.35 okay we got 284 degrees celsius means the temperature difference between the insulating material at the inner side and the outer side it is around 284 degrees celsius because it is restricting the insulating material restricted to flow the heat from the inner side to the outer side that's why the temperature difference is about 284 degree celsius if you look at the, the given data, it is mentioned the inner temperature is how much? 320. How much pressure difference is here? 284. So only a certain amount of uh, heat get loss from it. And that is 121 degree, sorry, 121 fat. Thank you very much for watching this uh, video.